Yeah, look, uh, the boys came back last Thursday, so we've had two initial days where we've covered some basic things, but probably really this week we've just started to crank the program up, so uh, in terms of that we've got 12 players back at this point in time, hopefully next week we get another uh, 12 or so back, so we'll have 24 players available, but uh, certainly at this stage it's, it's just getting a feel for the group, where they're at, their attitude, their training ethic, their professionalism, so Across the board, I'm getting a good picture at this stage, and uh, I mean, as pre-season goes on over the next few weeks, we'll build up the volume and intensity in the program, so that'll uh, that'll start to sort them out and uh, and really see where they're at for 2014. For me, at the moment, it's probably more just sitting back and watching. You know, I mean, you come to a program and uh, and you want to change everything overnight. I think the reality is. Uh, with, with the young guys coming back, you get really good insight into their behaviour, how they, how they prepare themselves for training, how they go about things, um, how they approach their training. Uh, already there's been a couple of penalties where they've done some 800 metre runs. Uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, I think they're going to learn and they're going to learn pretty quickly, but um, I mean, that's what football's about. We've got such a short window now to prepare these guys and get them ready for football. So, I mean, the NAB's early, uh, early to mid-Feb for us. So, uh, I mean, we want to be in a position where, we're, where we are ready to go as a football club and, uh, and our members can uh, look forward to uh, the season, season getting underway in March. have all the guys back on board as of the 25th of November so we've had a group away uh, I think in Colorado so they've been over there doing some altitude work. Once we've got the squad back really look we'll, we'll conduct thorough testing so we'll, we'll look at a whole range of things with uh, with those boys and, and get a bit of a feel of where they're at. We've got some really good uh, resources through Victoria Uni that we're able to tap into that, uh, that we'll utilise through that time. Um, then from there, December will, will really be three heavy weeks. So the guys really, from my point of view, hopefully will just be sleeping, eating and training through that period. So uh, there'll be a whole multitude of sessions, skills, running. Uh, we'll be topping them up with boxing and cross training, things like that. So um, yeah, look, I, I'm excited about the program. I, I'm excited about December, to be honest, because that's the, that's the time we really get to, get to put some work into them and get them ready for, uh, for the season proper. Stuart Cramery wants to get from Essendon to the Western Bulldogs. It remains to be seen whether that's going to happen. Yeah, he spoke to a number of clubs. He's um, obviously got a lot of interest from uh, a lot of clubs, but obviously the Bulldogs are the, the team of choice. Spoke to them and discussions are progressing. And what about uh, Stuart Cramery? We're talking about him with uh, Essendon trying to get that deal done. Bulldogs was the one that we're thinking of. What's How's that unfolding? I think there's, the good thing is I think there's dialogue between Adrian Dodoro and Jace McCartney, so that's a positive thing. There's respect from both sides in terms of what the parties are seeking. Um, and, you know, and, and look, it's an opinion-based game uh, um, of what someone's worth, and um, their opinion is he's worth more than pick 22, and, and I respect that, and I respect the dogs for their views as well. Do you think that deal will eventually get done, Nick? I think it will, Matty. The, the dogs are really keen on Cramery. They've offered him a really lucrative contract, but I'm sure that something will get worked out by the end of the three weeks. Stuart Cramery is on the move. He's now officially a Bulldog. And Pete, Stuart Cramery is now at the Western Bulldogs. Finally, that deal's been done. Yeah, great news for Bulldogs fans. They've got a key forward, Stuart Cramery, in exchange for pick 26. Essendon finally accepted that, and that's good news. Four-year deal for Cramery, exciting for the Bulldogs. Stewie Cramery, uh, the deal got done yesterday. He became yeah. a Western Bulldog. No, it was good. It was, you know, obviously it was great for Stewie and, um, you know, to Essendon's credit, they did it yesterday and but they tried it. You know, they tried to do the best things for their footy club, which is one to talk him into staying and then two to extract the best possible deal. So. Did he get wobbly at all? Like they obviously tried to talk him around, as you mentioned, uh, and we've nah, sort of no, he didn't, nah, he didn't wobble at nah. all. No, nah, not not Stewie. He's, he's just a good country lad who, once he makes up his mind about things, he's pretty steadfast. Welcome aboard, mate. Stuart, how does it feel to be in Bulldogs colours finally? Ah, yeah, it's good. Um, uh, I've spoken to Brendan the last few weeks, and um, it's been exciting to finally get here. And uh, I've met most of the guys now. To uh, finally get uh, Stewie across the line is um, yeah, it's just great for the club to have someone of his calibre now going to line up in the side. Yeah, it's been good to finally get there and. Uh, 
um, impressions are really, you know, it's really impressive in the uh, facility and uh, I've met a few of the guys now and it's, um, they're very welcoming and uh, I can't wait to really start. When Brendan came over as a forward line coach, I think I was pretty raw and um, Brendan moulded me as a, as a forward and um, look, I haven't looked back since so, uh, you know, he was a very good teacher and he, he helped me out a lot and I think Coming back to the Bulldogs is pretty exciting, and he's he's going to have you know a lot of a lot of things to teach me again uh, next year. Uh, he'll certainly add a lot of confidence to that forward line, and he'll teach the younger players how to go about it. The good thing was they didn't budge on pick 26; they yeah. weren't going to move. Uh, they didn't get, get ruffled when Essendon played hardball and basically they stuck to their guns. And Stuart Cremery was always going to get there. I think it's a good effort by uh, the Bulldogs. They're a better team now than they were at the start of the trade period. got back on last Thursday, so we've had, uh, this is our third day now, so a bit of an introduction, but it's still been a couple of big sessions, so I think the boys um, have realised that the new high performance um, uh, manager, Justin's, yeah, not mucking around, so it's good to be straight back into it though. I think it's good that the boys have come back a bit earlier, um, there's only a small group, so we're all pretty close and tight-knit, so we all push each other, and um, a lot of the boys are taking that, that leadership role, obviously Mitch and Kobe have sort of got that natural leadership ability, but I guess it sort of pushes boys like Greeny and Jack McCray is probably a bit quieter to, um, to talk up in the smaller group. So being back in the smaller groups, I reckon pretty good for the first couple of weeks. It sort of just gets us back into it and hopefully we're flying when the other boys come back. Probably getting through injury free um, is a big one. Just just um, maintaining and increasing fitness and skills with, without sort of putting the stress on my body. So um, obviously I worked through that with Justin and um, Chris Bell, the new physio. So, um, but yeah, probably just completing the full pre-season and getting Cherry right for the start of the year. Section 21, Western Bulldogs. Player number 213337, Nathan Rovat, Northern Knights, Mill Park Football Club. Yeah, I've, um, I've been to a couple of Knights games, so I spoke to a couple of the boys and uh, I've seen a couple of them recently and they've just obviously still in a very nervous state, um, given that it's yeah, very close to the, to the date to get drafted. So the best advice I've given them was just to just try and relax as much as possible. Just if you can get away and just sort of stay out of the media, stay out of try not to read up on anything because you don't want to get your hopes up or yeah, you don't want to get um, filled with too much information. So just sort of try and stay clear and just enjoy the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it was, um, it's yeah, definitely a lot better being on the other side of the fence now, but um, I guess I had exams then and, and the draft, so there was a lot running through, um, running through my head. So I just tried to relax as much as possible. I was really excited. Um, obviously had it like, clubs talk to you throughout this period when exams are over and sort of you're coming into the draft period so um, probably just keeping as yeah as relaxed as possible and just trying to um, yeah just ease your way in and not think about it too much really. Yeah I was a little bit nervous because obviously you don't know where you're going to end up and um, could end up in a state and that's a bit nerve wracking leaving you know your friends and family and um, so once yeah my name got read out the doggies it was, uh, there was a lot of tears but um, very excited, very wrapped, um, glad to stay in Victoria, glad to come to such a prestigious and um, yeah, up and coming club. So um, yeah, all the cards fell in my favour I guess and um, yeah, ha haven't looked back.